and welcome back to part 4 of the Call of Duty 4 custom character modeling tutorial series. Since the last video I made a few adjustments to the elbow joint placement on the model. The elbow was further back than I originally thought. After hiding the gloves and parts of the body I quickly realized where the elbow was actually located. The elbow pad gave it away. When I selected the edge at the inner crease of the elbow to identify the placement of the joint, I selected this one. As you can see, the edge loop around the elbow is actually the one above, so I made these small adjustments. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to cover binding, otherwise known as skinning or binding, exporting, using the asset manager, and the initial testing of your model. Before we get started with skinning, save the rig model one last time, and let's quickly save another increment file save. So save as save as your model's name followed by the suffix underscore bound open your hypergraph window and resize it to view you should see joints and bones in the hypergraph window if you don't try zooming out until they are visible and then reposition and focus for this tutorial we will bind the mesh to the skeleton using a simple bind meaning we will use the least amount of bones and joints a model needs to export this model is a great example to show how skinning of both an organic and a rigid mesh should be. Later, when you understand this process, you will probably want to add additional bones and joints on your organic mesh for more realistic looking animations. On models that include a rigid mesh, it may be necessary to use simple joint structures. Now let's select the bind skin layer. Right click and select the objects within that layer. You should see bones and joints selected in the hypergraph window in yellow. This layer should only contain joints and bones used for binding. Go down the list of selected joints and remove any joints that your model is not going to use by holding control and click. Here we have the coat front and rear joints. We are not going to use these because our model does not have a coat. The hip twist joints, since the model is part organic and part rigid mesh, I'm going to remove the hip twists as well. Here's the right one. I'm going to leave the knee bulge in there because our model does have knee pads. Notice here the torso stabilizer, the back low, and the back mid are deselected for you. We will talk more about these joints when correcting in paint weights. Here we have our left hand and finger joints. Remember to only deselect joints and also do not select any of the tags. We don't want our model bound to these tags. Here we have our right hand and finger joints. Notice here that the face animation joints are deselected for you. I do not use them for my custom models. Now recheck your selected joints and remove any tags that I might have overlooked in my skeleton rig. One tag in particular is the tag sink, tag stowed hip, tag weapon, tag stowed back, tag in hand, and tag bipod. And then go through your entire model and see if you don't have any um, other tags selected. Remember that this layer should only contain joints and bones used for binding, so no tags. There are some joints at the very bottom that I have not covered uh, during the selection. This is the shoulder raise LE, the shoulder raise right but I'm not going to use those since uh, the shell of the body is uh, basically a rigid mesh so I'm not going to use those. Now let's create us a new layer. Double click it, let's rename the layer. I'm going to rename this layer use underscore bind skeleton. Hit save and add the selected joints to this layer. Now let's bind your model to the skeleton. Minimize your hypergraph, we don't need it at the moment. Right click your new use bind skeleton. 
and hit Select Objects. With the joint selected, hide the Use Bind Skeleton, hold Shift and drag a selection over your entire model. So now we have only the Bind Skeleton and the Mesh selected. Check to make sure you're in Animation Mode. Go to Skin, go to Bind Skin, Smooth, click the little square. I'm going to show you my preferences. Bind to Selected Joints, Bind Method, Closest in Hierarchy, Max Influences, I have it set to 6. After bind, maintain max influences. Drop off rate is at 4. Remove unused influences and colorize the skeleton. Go ahead and hit bind skin. At this point, you can move some bones around to ensure your model is bound to the skeleton, like the arms and the legs. and also the head. The animation of the model will not look very good at this early stage of skinning. We will need to tweak the bind later by using paint weights. For now, this will give me an opportunity to show you how to update your model once it has been compiled in a mod. When you are convinced the model is bound, reset your bind pose by dragging a selection over the bones and then clicking skin, go to bind pose. Now we can export the model. To begin exporting your model, open your Call of Duty 4 model exporter. The first thing we want to do is select an entry to use with this model. Select the first entry 1 by putting a checkbox on the first entry's checkbox. Next we want to set the path and name of your export. By default, this skeleton rig points to your model export folder. Click the box with the three dots and navigate to your models folder. Type in the model's name in the file name box. Then click set. Now let's set our exports, which will include bones and tags and our model's mesh. We can hold we can hide uh Click on the Select Exports button in the Call of Duty 4 Model Export window. Go ahead and minimize your, call, your export window for now. Bring back your Hypergraph window. Again, we're going to zoom out and bring our bones and tags. This selection contains both joints and tags for exporting. Again, deselect the joints that you are not using. If you don't remember them all, that is okay. What you don't want to do is deselect a joint you are using. This will give you export errors. In addition, and very important, do not deselect the tags. After you have made your selection changes, go ahead and click Set Exports in your Call of Duty 4 model exporter. Now let's add your model to this entry along with the bones and tags. Click on the Select Exports button so we can select those joints and tags. Minimize the Call of Duty 4 export window. Bring back your layers we're going to hide the layer, the use bind layer. We're going to shift select your model like we did before. Now we have the joints and tags selected and also your model. Bring back your Call of Duty 4 model exporter and click set exports. Now let's export. Out of habit, before I export, I click on select exports and I quickly run down a checklist. Here's my checklist. Number one, check to see if the model is included in the entry. So when I hit select exports, I make sure that my model is selected. Number two, check to see if the tags are included in the hypergraph window. 
if I see one or two tags selected, I know that my tags are selected. I can see my tag stowed, my tag sync, and I can also see some of the joints I deselected for this export. Everything looks okay. Number three, check to see if all the joints I am using are selected. And again, the coat rear and the coat front and some of the joints at the bottom are deselected. Once I know this has been selected and I know that my select exports is correct, I can go ahead and click export selected entries. Now export all entries basically means if you have more than one entry here besides just the entry one, it will export them all. This is very handy when you create a model with different lot or level of detail. So in this case we are only using lot zero which is the up close model and this will cause frame drops or loss of frames per second if you don't create your decrement models that have less polygons and lower rest textures but for this case we only have one so we're going to use export selected entries so now let's click on export selected entries at this case it's going to ask you if you want to save if you haven't already done so click yes the exporting entry one window pops up and it says five percent pretty much it goes fairly fast if you don't have that many verts or triangles in your model okay so if you did not get any errors then you've properly deselected the joints that you were not using and also you didn't deselect the joint you were you were using um, at this point we can go ahead and navigate to our uh, Call of Duty 4 model export folder to see if we have actually have an X model in there. Let me pause the video and come back. Okay, and I'm back. And this is my Iron Man folder where we set our export to. And as you can see, I now have an Iron Man X model export here. We now have the necessary files to continue the export process using the Asset Manager.